Hey guys, it's Chris here from Pi Supply. In today's unboxing video, we're going to be taking a look at the Pi Juice Zero, which is a much smaller version of the Pi Juice. We've managed to shrink the Pi Juice down into a fat board, but keeping all the same features of the Pi Juice. So without further ado, let's get the unboxing started. So what we've we got here, we've got some Pi Supply stickers. We've got some complaints information. The Pi Juice Zero is fully FCC and CE compliant. We've got a Pi Supply welcome card with some information on the back. We've got the Pi Juice sticker. So first of all, let's take a look at the Pi Juice itself. If I can get it open. So as you can see, it's a much smaller version of the Pi Juice itself. But it packs all the same features as the Pi Juice. We've also got some mounting hardware. So we've got a battery connector to connect um, various types of batteries. The Pi Zero takes lithium polymer and lithium ion batteries. We've got some standoffs, we've got some nylon standoffs. And we've also got some brass, a bit smaller brass standoffs. So let's take a look at the Pi Juice Zero. So as you can see on the Pi Juice, you have a three pin battery connector, which has an NTC pin for connecting the temperature sensor, has a ground pin and a voltage battery pin. Also has a micro USB port for charging the battery and the Raspberry Pi itself. So the Pi Juice Zero has a single push button here on the edge of the board. So when pressed the first time, it will power on the Pi Juice Zero. When the button is held down for more than 10 seconds, it will halt the system. When held down for more than 20 seconds, it will do a hard shutdown. The Pi Juice also has two LEDs here and here, just above and below the switch. These LEDs are indicators. The first LED is the power status of the Pi Juice itself. The second LED can be configured to whatever status you wish using the Pi Juice software. The Pi Juice Zero uses the 40-way GPIO header, which is compatible with the Raspberry Pi Zero and Raspberry Pi Zero W, but it can also be used with the normal Raspberry Pi 3B and 3B Plus or any Raspberry Pi with the 40-way header. Out of the box, the Pi Juice Zero can be used as a UPS, but when you download and install the Pi Juice software, that's where all the magic happens. You can configure the Pi Juice to your project needs. All you have to do is simply connect a lithium polymer battery to the Pi Juice Zero, which I'll show you now. So this is a lithium polymer 1200 milliamp battery with a three pin connector. All you have to do is slot it into the J2 battery connector here. Simply slide it on and the battery is connected. So this battery is just one of many batteries that you can purchase from the Pi Supply Store along with the various accessories that can enhance your projects. Okay, so here we have a small selection of accessories for the Pi Juice Zero and Pi Juice. As you can see here, we have some solar panels. These can keep your Pi Juice battery lasting for a very long time. We also have a small selection of cases. We will also have some cases available very soon for the Pi Juice Zero. All these accessories are compatible with the Pi Juice and Pi Juice Zeros, 
in particular the produce batteries and the solar panels here. So thanks very much for watching guys. If you have any questions or queries then please visit piesupply.com. Thanks for watching and until next time I'll see you then.